this is the question what you have asked that is okay if a x is a random discrete random variable taking the values 1 2 3 with p of x is equal to 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 whole power x find the x being an odd number by first establishing that p of x is a probability function so what we have to do here is this question has two parts we have to prove the probability function uh, what the function p of x given is a probability function that part and later we have to solve p of x being odd number so first let us consider the p of x is a probability function to prove any function to be a probability function the summation must be equal to 1 so if we solve the summation of all these uh, all these uh, p of x where x varies from 1 to infinity is equal to 1 this proves or this completes our first part so summation p of x is equal to so first we are starting our problem by summation p of x summation x is equal to 1 to infinity we have taken the given function that is 1 by 2 into x by 3 whole power x so retain 1 by 2 as it is then start substituting the value of x as 1 2 3 so on up to infinity okay so at the first attempt let me substitute the value of x as 1 <coughs> so it will become 1 by 2 into x by 3 sorry 2 by 3 whole power 1 since it is summation we have to put a plus 1 by 2 2 by 3 whole power in the place of x put 2 similarly in the place of x put 3 it is a continuous process okay next <coughs> 1 by 2 i have taken a common term okay 1 by 2 here this term must go on like this let me write right here plus so on okay here also plus so on fine next in the later part <coughs> i have taken 1 by 2 as common from this term from this step if i take 1 by 2 common next what i'll remain with 2 by 3 whole power 1 plus 2 by 3 whole square plus 2 by 3 whole cube next this term whatever the term is there inside the bracket this is in the form of gp that is geometric progression so if any geometric progression if it is uh, if it continues up to infinity then the formula to solve or the summation of the geometric progression up to infinity will be equal to here i have written a formula one second <coughs> summation will be equal to summation up to infinity will be equal to a divided by 1 minus r you have already learned this formula <coughs> so where a is a first term in this the first term is a and the terms will be in the form of a a r a r square so r will be equal to the formula for r is a2 by a1 or a3 by a2 so this is the first term a1 this is second this is third a2 is 2 by 3 whole square divided by a1 is 2 by 3 okay if you divide what you will get 2 by 3 okay or else even you can use a3 by a2 also whatever the formula you use the ratio will be the same the common ratios between the two successive terms will be same always so i have taken two such ratios i have shown whatever the values you get is 2 by 3 so we got the value of a and the value of r so the summation formula is a by 1 minus r i have substituted the value of a here 2 by 3 and r as 2 by 3 1 divided by 2 by 3 do the simplification 1 by 2 as it is 2 by 3 as it is next 1 minus 2 by 3 which will be equal to 1 by 3 next you have to do the reverse procedure like you have to convert the both the numerator and the denominator has two parts okay so i am taking this upward this 1 by 3 will become this 1 by 3 will become 3 by 1 okay 3 3 gets cancels 2 2 cancels 
summation of x will be equal to p of x will be equal to 1 so that means it is a probability function okay the next second part what they have asked is <coughs> uh, p of x being odd number odd number meaning the x value can take the values from or the values x is equal to 1 3 5 7 so on okay so p of x being odd number summation x is equal to 1 3 5 7 so on up to infinity the same function substitute the value of x as 1 3 5 7 the same thing take 1 by 2 common next what you will remain here 2 by 3 2 by 3 whole cube 2 by 3 whole power 5 whole power 7 again this term is in gp the first term is 2 by 3 to find the common ratio to find the common ratio r is equal to a2 by a1 what is a2 a2 is 2 by 3 cube divided by 2 by 3 so r is 2 by 3 whole square okay then r is equal to 2 by 3 whole square now again substitute all the values in the formula that is a divided by 1 minus r 1 by 2 as it is a is 2 by 3 divided by 1 minus r r value is 2 by 3 whole square okay on simplification 1 by 2 2 by 3 as it is 1 minus 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 to the simplification 9 9 minus 4 okay then 1 by 2 as it is 2 by 3 as it is this denominator turns into uh, uh, when it goes to numerator it will become the reverse okay so it is 9 divided by 5 cancel the terms which are common the answer will be 3 by 5 i hope you understood this problem thank you